Leo, hi, what's up? Thank you for coming back to those of you who've been here before and for sharing your energy with me again. And welcome to those of you who it is your first time. This is Surrender to the Flow Tarot and I'm Denise and I will be doing a timeless general reading for the collective of Leo. That's Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, all placements. If you don't know your Moon, Rising, and your Venus signs, you can Google those, and then you can watch the videos for those so that you get a fuller picture um, of where you are. Okay, so we are asking, sorry, it's a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave the rest, and be careful not to insert yourself into a story that isn't yours. Today we're asking the universe, what can you do to realign yourself with the universe, with the source, with the one? Um, and we are using Chakra Love. <sighs> Glare. The White Witch Tarot. I love this. It's all major arcana. I love it. And Nature's Whispers Oracle Cards. Everything today is very visually pleasing, it's just the way it is. Um, I'm gonna pull your cards and tell you what I pull as I pull them and then read everything at the end, okay? Here we go, we're starting with the chakra love. Video. This is the second time one of these cards just got stuck here. I'm not gonna take it, but I'm gonna show you what it is. And it's a rebalancing of all your chakras. Out of chaos comes creation, Amazonite, carnelian, peach moonstone, and red jasper. I feel like red jasper came up for you guys last week too. And if so, definitely go get some if you haven't already done that, okay? Okay, here you go. We are dealing with your root chakra, which is your second chakra, and your stone or your crystal is hematite foundation. Foundation is what I'm sorry, root chakra is your first chakra. State girl is your second. Foundation is what the castle of your soul is built upon. Okay. So you guys have been going through some stuff, lifetime stuff and uncovering stuff. And um, it's been stored in your root chakra and it's time for you to clear that out. So you can YouTube search root chakra clearings, balancings, and healings, and get some hematite um, and work with that hematite, okay? Root chakra is also red, so you might want to wear red panties or underwear drawers or wear red pants or, you know, you want to have red in your life and, and possibly wear it too. You certainly don't have to, okay? Let's see what your white witch tarot is. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, this is so beautiful. You have the strength card. I just realized I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode when I'm recording. So hopefully that's not gonna fuck everything up. Um, <laughs> okay. And let's see what your Nature's Whispers card is. So you have the strength to do this. You've been through some shit. You've been through some shit and you've had some epiphanies. And you are you know the truth and you see the truth. And you've been, the, the tower already came down. You can get through this, you have it. And part of that is is healing your root chakra, okay? Let's see what your, oh, I'm gonna split this because these are really long and they're new and they kind of stick together. So it's just easier to shuffle it this way.
flipped around but didn't flip out higher ground. Oh, a bunch flipped out. You are worth it and breakthrough. They all flipped around. But they didn't flip out. But those are all true. Just saying. Ah, there we go. Okay. Ideal course of action which is number 37, which is 10, which is completion of a cycle, okay? So that a new beginning can happen. And don't worry, we're gonna read this. So pretty, right? There's so much prettiness happening, okay. So let's just read that because I think the rest of it, we don't have to get into what you've gone through because this is just about what you can do to realign. So this is, to know that you have the strength and that you can call on your own strength, okay? And to uh, look into the root chakra balancing, okay? And let's see. <clears throat> it is easy to be overwhelmed in the planning of a new endeavor. Simplify your plans. Clearly en envisa env envisage, envisage, env <laughs> whatever that, I know you know what that word is. So that word, what you would like to accomplish and find ways to ensure you can stay on the path. Eliminate self-sabotage or other behavior that might derail you. Don't, there's no anxiety or pressure that has to come along with this, but they are right, right? You don't want to self-sabotage um, and you have the strength in order to not do that, okay? Determine what you desire next. Do this through daydreaming and visualizing what delights and inspires you. Trust that this is an important phase that is necessary to maintain alignment and clarity. So maybe you guys have been also working or focused on one thing and there's not been a lot of pleasure or relaxation just for the fun of it, you know, for the newness or like maybe, I know it's Corona right now, but museums are surrounding yourself with new things that can birth inspiration and ideas for you. So you got this Leo. Okay. Call on your own strength. Give yourself a change of scenery. Give yourself permission to just be and daydream. Right? Go on a drive or a walk or I don't know. You know, I smoke weed sometimes to daydream. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you need to do that, but that thing that like takes swimming, whatever it is, napping, staring at the sun, looking at the clouds, you know, you know what I mean? Okay. That inner child, you're rebuilding that foundation from your root chakra and that's inner child stuff usually. Um, and you know, Hold that inner child. Give that inner child a chance. All right, Leo. Thank you for coming and sharing your energies with me. Thank you for any likes, shares, and subscribes. I hope this helped, and I will see you next week. Bye, Leo.